Thanks, Arewa. My name is Alexa Van Brunt, V-A-N-B-R-U-N-T. I work at the MacArthur Justice Center. I'm one of the plaintiff's counsel in the Campbell litigation. And as Arewa said, we're here today to demand that Chicago's leaders focus on violence perpetuated in our communities at the hands of the Chicago Police Department. We're the first city in the country to get a consent decree over a police department where the communities most affected by police violence have the power to go into federal court and enforce that decree. And we intend to use that power, but we shouldn't have to. Chicago's leaders from the mayor to the state's attorney need to address the violence and corruption that have occurred in the last six months and that have infected the Chicago Police Department for years. We're deeply concerned that it is only June of 2019 and there have already been six fatalities and four shootings at the hands of the Chicago Police Department. And there's been no transparency and no accountability from the top in these, in these cases. We can't celebrate a new era of policing when officers continue to kill with impunity and when in the wake of these deaths, our leaders remain silent. We're here to demand transparency. We're here to demand accountability. But above all, we're here to demand that this city has a respect for the sanctity of life as demanded in the consent decree and as promised by our elected officials. Transforming the CPD is not about headlines and it's not about elections. It's a day-to-day -day imperative. And it's necessary that our city leaders protect our communities. If city leadership continues to stand silently by in the face of police shootings and police violence, we will use the power in this consent decree, this one-of-a-kind decree, and we will continue the struggle in federal court. Thank you so much, and I'm gonna turn it back over to Arewa.